Ken Paxton is the Texas attorney general who brought this thing, who, as I speak, is being wined and dined at the White House for his troubles. Here's the headline in the Austin American Statesman tonight. Headline, FBI agents seek Texas attorney general records in Paxton probe. Quote, federal agents served at least one subpoena yesterday on the office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton in an ongoing investigation into allegations that Paxton abused his authority by helping a friend and campaign donor. Three sources confirmed to the American statesman and KVUE-TV that FBI agents delivered the request for information to the agency's headquarters on West 14th Street. Again, the subpoena request or, or the subpoena served yesterday on Paxton's office. Quote, the issuance of a federal subpoena on a state agency, and especially involving the state's top attorney, is a highly unusual move that likely would have required higher level approval from the U.S. Department of Justice. Quote, it came as Paxton has received national attention this week after filing a lawsuit to overturn presidential election results in four battleground states, won by President-elect Joe Biden. The visit from federal agents came one day before Paxton was among a dozen state attorneys general to go to the White House to meet in person with President Donald Trump. So the guy leading this effort, the state attorney general in Texas, is himself apparently under FBI investigation for serious charges levied against him by people in his own office that he has corruptly used the power of his office to aid his campaign donors. He's also under indictment on state charges in a totally unrelated matter. But the FBI is now investigating him in what appears to be a federal criminal probe. The FBI served subpoenas on his office in Austin yesterday. And that is the kind of thing that takes high-level Justice Department approval, the kind of thing for which a guy like Ken Paxton might want a little high-level federal relief. Perhaps a pardon? Did I mention he was at the White House tonight? because of this big Supreme Court case he's bringing to try to overthrow the election and install Donald Trump for a second term?